I can name at the top of my head right now. But yeah, it's got Carl Urban in it as the lead here, and it's got great, a great cast of well acted characters. Definitely check it out, guys. Yeah, I'm not paying you, me to tell y'all. So if you have Amazon, definitely go check out the boys. If you have Amazon, don't forget you have a Prime subscription that you could use right here at 2G Gaming. Help us support yeah. MSM and uh, get all those awesome emotes we have. All right, I'm done selling out. I'll see you all later. Hey, oh hey, what's oh, up, Karch? Karch, oh, who's on? Oh yeah, oh. see him. Yeah, what's up, Karch? All right, I'll see you all next week. War Chief cheats at poker. I'll see you guys later. Yeah, like z says, if you have Prime Gaming, you could get that. You could use your Prime Gaming subscription to sub to 2G Gaming and get your shambles ad-free with all the emotes included. Uh, yeah, I'll you, probably can, say you can use this emote. <laughs> yep. You definitely can. Or, you, I guess relevant to this site, you can use this emote. There you go. Thank you, Strads, for demonstrating some of the great emotes you guys get with Fuji Gaming. I said it helps keep the lights on, and like I said, you get to watch your shambles ad free. <laughs> um, I guess personal plug here. Uh, Unless right they're already using the ad blocker. Oh, that'll be shambles. Yeah. In, shambles. in which case, please don't use an ad blocker, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it, dude, asking people not to use ad blockers is like asking people not to, like, you know, pirate their animes <laughs> online. I, mean, like, don't, I have like, a Crunchyroll like, account, and I also don't use ad blockers. But, you know, that's just me. You know, just it's okay, different. you can afford to Anyway, winner's finals. Winner's finals. Popping off. I, so, you know, other sword characters are really good versus the region. I, I feel like this one's actually not as easy for Ike. I agree. Um, Ike has to land. <laughs> That's the scariest part. You have to like, actually fight Luigi. And Luigi in the air isn't that great, but on the ground, Luigi can be a monster to deal with at times, and Luigi's frame data just outframes Ike. I think the way that Guts is playing this is pretty, pretty solid. Like, you know, go to the platforms, don't stay on the ground, like I said, right? Be careful, because you have to land. Stay on the platforms, and if gaming has to go anywhere near you, congratulations, you have now been Nair trained the entire match, and you can see it right now. Guts knows if I have to camp Luigi out, I am so content. Yeah, this is the, the way that um, Ice Arrows work, though. He doesn't really use them in a way to like keep Luigi out. I don't, I don't, at least I don't feel that way. Or, or, or if he does, he just doesn't have the same range as like you know the other sword characters would in the match, like a yeah. cloud or like we've seen or something. I agree. If if Ike does want to pressure Luigi with Nair, it has to do within the confines of making sure that that Nair is safe. That was actually really scary because I could see why I got some directional air dodge. Oh, he caught the armor from yeah. From he that caught one. the armor from his ether. Luckily, he didn't die for it though. Look, if War Chief cheats at poker, then so does Luigi cheating at grabs, man. That's all I'm saying. This character cheats. Uh, 130 to 82. Honestly, it's any man's game. Unfortunately, Guts will still get grabbed. I like the attempt on that one on the second try, but I don't think the third one will be the charm. So if I were Guts, kind of sticking into that mildly aggressive game plan of just being cautious uh, might actually be the bigger payoff rather than trying to use an ether. Right there, that situation against up tilt, that was a really good call. Also, the fact that like Guts knows, okay, hey, Luigi only has two recovery options, so I'm just going to go ahead and be a threat here. Yeah, Luigi's recovery is much to be desired a lot of times. But if you're just like not for sure you can actually punish him, a lot of times you gotta be really careful. Especially as I, because his recovery is not great either. Back throw? Yeah. Gonna go high with the quick draw. Oh, that was good. I respect it just because uh, where a gaming high might have been, it would have been good just to react and then get the stock. 149, two stocks apiece, man. It is not even, but I think that's kind of knows, okay, now that I at least have even stocks, I can play this a little bit differently here. I still have to be aggressive. Like I said, if if Ike is gonna nair, it's going to be on pressure and it's going to be either a cross up there or the safest nair that Guts can get with a perfectly spaced aerial. Yeah. Man, game has been going for a lot of misfires for Hasn't worked, yeah. but he hasn't gotten punished for like any side bees on stage either. Oh, I like I like that from Guts, like going for the forward edge just so you can throw off Luigi as well, but like 
you're, he's not going to be in that position to like, okay, yeah, he's going to go for forwarder, and I guess that's trying to see like, okay, is he going to DI this wrong so I can get the forwarder or not? So I think Gaming High had a little bit more credit than that, just because he knew it was like, hey, I don't want to lose the stock fairly as well. Oh, that Ooh. was good. Almost, almost. I saw the sparks of death there. Yeah, see, other characters, when they see Luigi, like, well, not every character, but when they see Luigi just side being like that off stage, it's like a free opening to, you know, get to Eshgar a lot of times, but I can't really afford to do that uh, yeah. without putting himself at risk. That's why you just see Gus stay on the stage most of the time. Nice, I like that. I was about to say, how did this limp noodle survive like a 90 from a forwarder at Ike off stage? That's amazing. But hey, I'm sure Gaming Eye had the great DI. Ooh, so did Guts. Did not want to get comboed. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. Yeah, that's rough because at, at a lot of points when you get hit by or grab a Luigi at that percent, you're probably thinking of the Cyclone and how you should like DI the throw to avoid getting Cyclone as easily. Yeah. But, uh, then if you. DI wrong for that, you just get up and it's rough. Dare I say strides? A 50 50. It's very difficult. Yeah, it's very difficult. It, if for me to call it a proper 50 50, for me, at least in my case, it's very difficult to call it that just because it's more of a matter of like, oh, my opponent, like you said, right, amounted for the fact that I might have gotten hit by Tornado. I'm going to DI out. Oh, damn, that was the wrong choice. At that percent, I think Gaming High kind of knew Guts wanted to survive longer, so he made the right lead. Uh, this is going to be the next game. Guts had the first game plan on deck. Like, literally just kind of camp out Luigi. If you get an aerial, you get an aerial, and then go in after that. And then he kind of lost a little bit when he thought he could challenge Luigi's grab with up with Aether, and that turned out to be unfortunate about three times. So we'll yeah. see how Guts can finally adapt here. I mean, he knows, like, if Luigi's off stage, if I can be a little bit aggressive with aerials like forward like that, and then I can put Luigi in a tough spot, and then I can try to get this down and like so. And then, oh, that was good. That was, I like the down tilt. I would have loved the empty hop grab. I think that's one thing I kind of want to see through that. Yeah, I think he could get away with a lot of it. But wow, bad DI. Really bad DI on that Cyclone. No business killing at 95. Character like Ike. Oh my goodness. Luckily, he's not dead. Because <laughs> he just gave him like a, a really easy grab at zero. Like one of those situations where, oh, he's not gonna jump. Ooh. Man, no, no grab required that he just like threw him off stage and got the easy edge guard. Yeah, that, that's rough. Uh, that's his oh my gosh. Time. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Using the armor on Aether to avoid dying. The UFV, but still taking a massive amount of percent. Fireball into the down throw this time? Yeah, I like yeah. the DI mix up. Not gonna die for them in the cyclone, but he definitely DI'd in to avoid getting back thrown and dying. Even going for that mix-up, but nice catch. Great punish on the quick draw. And uh yeah, really rough boost stock there for Guts. Guts, baby. You had like a really good game one plan. Like his game one was really good. Like I'm not gonna lie, it was actually really, really good. Like he did way better game one. Stay calm, camp out Luigi. Use use your best arrow, which is arguably neutral air, and then stay away from the ground as much as possible. If Luigi wants to come to you, then you can start changing your pace. Whether you want to go for full hop grab, I'm sorry for for like your empty for your jump mix ups, right? Your double jump mix up, your empty hop mix up, tomahawk grabs, all that stuff, right? And then you start picking apart Luigi, playing the spacing game in terms of just trying to whiff punish him in a weirder way than using your sword or aether but unfortunately i felt like guts lost a little bit of control there and i totally get it luigi is a character that like i hate this character and i want to rush in and beat him but if i do so i'm gonna get the opposite yeah it's uh yeah i agree um mix it with like mixing up this double jump area with like some grabs in there as well but again like right there that was like an unsafe narrow on the easy shield to 68 percent so so it's just i don't know it's just difficult I think you have to really try to rely on uh, mix-ups in your approach in this match because I... Yeah, I do like that Guts is very... Cha I wouldn't say challenge-based, but he's very... Ag almost, like, I would want to say aggressive-based. Like, he doesn't go for another Nair or a Nair up there. He just says, screw it, I'm going to forward the hell out of him so I can get him off the stage as soon as possible. 
because he knows he does not like that. He, he re I rarely see him go for like an upper uh, streak. And I think it's just because he knows that gaming high is also a monster for that in terms of DI. Is Ike counting off stage not that good? Nah, it's not. It puts him in a really bad state, and it's terrible and like it's actually I think the worst of the one of the worst of the counters. Yeah, it looked like dang. I wonder if he could just like counter these uh, side B's off stage from gaming. I'm, I'm gonna be real honest with you, Strides. Look, I hate Luigi, but that was the dumbest dare to grab the tornado. Like, that was ridiculous. I can't believe that was true. Yeah, that's not surprising at this point. <laughs> oh, this is uh, a really is... good stock for Guts right now. Yeah, it's it, he's. Guts is in a good stock. It's just really rough to see that he tried to go for a forward tail and then Luigi Tornado just caught him as his sword became a hurtbox. And that's rough right there. Just pushing. Good waiting for the landing. I like that play. Doesn't go for anything aggressive. Just goes for a safe tilt. I like the... On the way back, coming back from back, that hurts again. See what I'm saying? Like, at that point, I'm like, when did the sword become a hurtbox? <laughs> you know, it feels like Mewtwo's tail almost at that point. Like, normally speaking, Guts would be in the right, but unfortunately that tornado kind of grabbed Ike out of that one. Good upper. Challenges man for landing on the wrong platform. Yep. What you should do on this stage especially is like... You have all these platforms to just really trap uh, your opponent's landings. Do some more punishes that way. Okay, gaming kind of overextending with that grab, thinking that you can get a follow up, but uh, not really following the DI of Guts. Okay, at this point, if I'm Guts, I wouldn't force any type of situations because, you know, he has a really big lead. Oh. Yeah, most definitely. I do like the, uh, oh. that cost him too much. I was going to say I do like the other smash attempt, but I can see why that was more costly. I respect it though, like, usually Luigi, I think the way that I've been seeing gaming on IC loves to go for direction or air dodge in the air to avoid Ike, so that was almost a call out, but unfortunately that cost got way too much. And look at this percent, already caught up to 84. Still, almost because Thomas City is a great ceiling. Kind of rough that, like, this all stemmed from him throwing out rope up smash the last stock, and now he's on the threat of just losing the set now. Say, like for guts, I want him to still be more calm. Like it's oh. literally winnable. Yeah, I was called skills. There are any other stage Luigi might have died. It's super winnable. Careful with the DI on this one, buddy. Oh man. Mm, yeah. Not this no cyclone. Again, gaming is really smart about using that down throw at the ledge like that. Everyone instinctively will DI in to avoid dying the back throw at this percent. Yeah, I kinda wanna oh no. I saw the parry too, but that's when yeah. it's kinda rough. You have to parry every hit. Easier said than done. Oh, tech chase? Oh, we also the grab inside the up smash. Yeah, Big good, opportunity good. here for gaming though. Oh man. It's very I scary like it, I like it. He didn't he didn't roll, he didn't try to like forcefully take center stage. That was good on guts. Wait for the landing. I like the dash attack attempt just because he knows he uh nice. great, great for it though, great for it. Nice. Caught okay. the panic roll from ledge that everyone does at high percent. Yep. And Gaming High had no reason to panic roll. Guts did not put himself in a position where Nair could cover up most of the options, and which that would force Gaming High in a situation to actually try, part, try to pick roll. Usually roll options are very, very rare to pick, <laughs> and that was definitely a demonstration of why you don't want to roll from the ledge. Uh, good stuff to Guts though, either way. Like, yeah, it's kind of crazy like you said, right? It's like, he threw out a rogue up smash, and that cost him literally the stock and almost the entire set. Yeah. I just like, I've seen that a lot with Guts. Like, he will play really solid for a majority of the stock, have big lead. And then, uh, I don't know. I, is it because he's an Ike player that he just goes for like these random smash attacks? I don't know. But it always cost him. It actually cost him in the one of the Viri matches as well. I, I know it's a satisfying move to land, but it's like you have to really condition your opponent to hit that and really know when they're going to air dodge or whatever. And I don't really see him going for that. It just seems like he's just throwing it out to do it. But uh, we'll see. First game in the reverse 3-0 on the board. And he does really well on this stage as well, so... Uh, this could be really good for Guts. He actually did really well on this stage in the first game. He just he made some slight errors that let him lose. 
Yeah, I would like to see a return to like strategy, just hang on the platforms, like not really forcing his approach with his aerials. Yeah, it's it's really interesting too. Like I said, right? Like you see Luigi, I see Luigi. Even most of the community might see Luigi as a joke character of how silly he is. But in reality, like if you do count this character out with enough options and moves, you can successfully win because Luigi will have to force his air, um, pretty rough aerial approach, which they're not usually safe. Oh, unless it's there, which I would be more scared of. Oh, well. there it was. There it was. Nice catch. Finally on the up smash. That was a really good one to go for. Especially versus Luigi. Oh. It's always oh, worth to go for that. Yeah, always was, worth to go for that with the stock yeah, lead like that. I agree. I agree. I agree on Guts' Zen too as well. Uh, and even if we think about it too, you start to put gaming high a little bit on call out. Like, hey man, if you want to try to get these these combos like that on me, then I can probably try to do the same and then just arm you that way. Yeah, he also has to be careful though, because he literally almost died. <laughs> yeah. Like, he did get that early stock, but since he's at low percent, if he's not careful, he just easily just blow up himself and it's even game again. Yep, I agree. Oh, good good nice, call out. Nice. This this is why we saw Guts do those callouts earlier, because he knows that Gaming High loves to go for those directional air dodges to land. So that's why in, even though he almost lost the set last game <laughs> with that call out, you can see why it pays off in the end. Of course, that's gonna be pretty much true at this point, and because it's not Town City with a higher ceiling, this will be true for Gaming High to get this one at 85. Guts, I still see the victory in his hands, man, but I will tell this man to kind of slow down on the gas pedal and then take it back a little bit because you can easily get caught by a grab and all of it gets tied up. Oh. Great landing there. I like it. Still not yeah. just yet. Only a touch of death. So here. Yeah, but it saved the space really well. So uh, he's able to continue this ledge trap here. And then trying to find a way off the ledge safely. Oh, oh man. That was a really big opportunity for gaming to get a harder punish, but it just barely missed. Okay. I'll be careful here. Both of them see shield. shield. The shield st yep, shield stand off. I really like how gaming's mixing up his ledge options in this uh, situation. A pep roll there. Oh, I like it though. He's able to armor through. Not caring about the jab whatsoever. Using that armor to a great effect. Look, I'm gonna be real, no pun intended, that was very gutsy. Uh, just because it could have been his end, like you saw the grab. Like it was originally like a grab and then jab to cover that one. So I, I definitely see like, if I were guts, I would have been really scared from it, but it paid off on that dice roll and then he games himself game five here. So good stuff to guts though, but like I said, super gutsy on that one. Like, I, <laughs> I would have been very scared because it could have been another grab and we saw how Gab just beats out Aether. Yep. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, even with other I players, I keep seeing this use of up B in uh, interesting situations. Like, I know it has more armor than usual, but I also, again, I, I just kind of see them just throwing it out a lot of times, even when the opponent's like nowhere near I. It's not the same as like Cloud of B in that way, because Cloud of B, you pretty much always want to do it out of shield. But uh, with Ike, it's like I'm just gonna I'm just gonna throw it out. <laughs> okay, hanging on the platforms again. Recognizes that uh, very close to dying if he messes up, so I'm not trying to force any approaches. Oh. Out again, gaming uh, again, makes up from the ledge really well. I don't think he's chosen the same option more than like twice in a row. Okay, oh my god, what a grab! Is he dead from that? Wow, yeah, he's, uh, that that's hurts. rough. <laughs> he just jumped into the tether grab, and since he's on the platform, he died even earlier to the down B. Whatever Luigi made to tell me that Luigi actually needs something, I try to laugh at them and be like, nah, this character does not need anything. Good on Guts, I like that using that platform. Like I said, trying to get those jumps, he's a cross up opportunity, so he click it. A little bit, uh, that cross up took a little bit too long, but. Uh, oh, there's uh, that could be rogue, big damage. rogue up B again. Uh, <laughs> I don't like, see, this is the problem here, is that Guts gets a really good game plan here in the last game. It worked wow. out, it only pays off though. On the I can't game. believe Gabe got hit by that. He got hit by the straight up B in a row. Look, as much as I'm loving this game, this Ike, I admit, Guts deserved to get hard punished on that one. <laughs> yeah. I think that was a free up B if you just blocked. 
Dude. Yeah, I yeah, agree. Oh, quick call out, quick call out. I, I like it. Y'all are doing the slide charge on this match to cover him, uh, just yeah. mashing side cloning disadvantage, like most of these do. You just have to really get good at baiting out that cyclone and uh, falling there. You can get, you can really uh, make Luigi scared and disadvantage. Okay, I'm gonna be real, dude. The aiming high has a really excellent edge guard plan with those other that you're doing with dash dancing. That was a clean uh, play that I saw from the game. I, I like it. Yeah. I may not like Luigi, but I like that gaming plan. I mean, this is another one of the main things that you can do at the ledge to edge guard. Good on gaming. I, he's trying to call guts on that one on the landing. I think that's what gaming is slowly understanding. Is like, okay, guts kind of wants to cross me up, with a couple of aerials, or use those jumps. So if I can call out his landing on those situations where he doesn't get a good cross or it takes too long, like so, I can punish him with an up smash. Like that's good on guts to go for the cross up, but it doesn't feel as as a good as a cross up if it's too slow, because then your opponent will just react to that immediately because it's already taking too much time. <laughs> nice. Oh, oh not this the dash attack. He's in a pretty rough spot. Nice. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Even better punish. Yeah, I like that choice to cyclone off the ledge to avoid getting a harder punish, but you still die to the down here. Okay. Let's see how Gus can capitalize on this lead right here. Yeah, I was going to say, if I were Gus, man, I started camping. I started running the clock as much as possible, because anything I can get from that is good. This will be a throw, and may or may not be... Yeah, it will be the kill for it. But I was going to say, man, he might want to try a back throw just to... Because he'll still throw Ike off the stage. Like I said, call out on the aerial. Like I said, it take it too long for his game plan. Oh. Right? Luigi has the ability to back throw. Guts, play it clean, buddy. Play, play it clean here. Gaming high with an aggressive in there off the stage. I like the tornado to kind of cover the options afterward. That's the scary thing about Luigi too. In the way that I've been saying, gaming high is look at look at his opportunities when he knows he can go for grab or a whip punish. It just becomes really scary. But every Luigi lives and dies by tornado. Like, like I, I've said it so many times. If you call out Luigi after tornado, there's a lot to it, and you can get a really nice punish. So definitely don't hesitate. I think that's what Guts is trying to definitely pull off a little bit earlier. Oh, ciao. Uh, man, he caught up. Yeah, it's quick and yeah. easy. 67. Easy bait combos, ladies and gentlemen. Put him in the microwave and you get 72%. I mean, I just think it's good that he avoided getting LP there. I guess fine to take this percent at this point. As long as you don't die. Okay. Snags him with the back air a little bit. But nice. really be careful how he approaches here, Guts, that is. Can't really do any predictable, like, drifting aerial on the shield right now. Yeah, exactly. You can see, look at the way that Gaming is playing as well. He's slowly kind of trying to get into a whip punish range. Oh. But unfortunately, at the last second, that one was a bit too close to Ike. And nice. that would be Nair up there to seal the deal. Ladies and gentlemen, Guts, with the...